Now that home mortgage rates are rising, is it worth getting a five-year versus a 30-year loan? Here's a quick way to find out. Hi everyone. So today I'm going to actually show you a simple math problem that's going to be very useful, especially if you're a buyer, you're worried about the high interest rates that are, that are increasing. And this is a way to compare the savings you would make if you took a five year loan versus a 30 year loan. Now there's some instances where it's really a good idea and I can uh, counsel you on those. And for sellers, I know a lot of the people that I'm speaking to, they want to sell, but they don't want to, they feel like they're in the same boat they'll have to buy something at a higher interest rate when they don't have that so this is a good little simple math problem that can empower you to understand which kind of financial direction you want to go in certainly it's not for everyone but it's a really good for a lot of people and i think you'll be surprised at the savings that you can do uh, with these different options okay as of october 27th it's a thursday Every Thursday, uh, Fred, Freddie Mac produces a survey and the results are on Thursday, freddiemac.com. I tell you this about this a lot. So you can see every Thursday, the average uh, interest rates across the country. So for 30 year more money on this day, they're reporting an average of 7.08%. We passed the 7% barrier. For five year money, the interest was 5.96%. So what you want to do to compare, subtract those two, and we come up with 1.12%. So that's the interest savings of the difference between 30 year and five year. So what you want to do is multiply that by five. And in five years, uh, you get 5.96%. 6%. That's the interest savings. So now to figure it out, get 5.6%, multiply that by the price of the property. So let's say $300,000 home or property, and that equals a savings of $16,800, nearly, nearly $17,000, quite significant. 5.6% savings for a $500,000 property, half a million dollar home. And the difference between a 30 year and a five year, if you can do it, would, would mean a $28,000 savings for that loan. So you can see where it's worth it if you can do it.